welcome back to my channel again so this video is just like a freestyle video nothing to expect nothing to bother this is me just putting out emo states on my channel so this is the almighty omar here Towa. so this is easter right and i'm traveling to my husband's place which of course because i'm an Igbo woman is expected to be my place right so most of the times i really uh is, there's nothing fun about me going there but of course just to always show face and also know what is happening i will always follow him and we go home so it happened that this is the like this is a year later we've gone there so of course why not so we are going to mbc so how many of you re remember this road where are you from do let me know in the comment section like i said this is like a freestyle video just to carry you along you will happen during easter in my place be say in imo state nigeria so i just got this idea oh why not let me just do a drive through a little bit to show you around here to show you around here to for you to know okay if you can really associate or remember whatever is happening here do also let me know in the comment section so back to my story what do you think about going to the village right some people do not like that what, what was your reason do you like going to the village what was your reason of not going to the village and one thing also that i miss i guess that's why we barely go home is because my parents in laws are no more right because i know i met the dad i met my husband's dad so then he we would always come we are just we just want to see him or he would always come over but now two of them are no more so there's nothing in quotes that would make us casual us to go home right i guess that's one of the reasons and way back in villa i was telling my husband that Kai, i wish i met your mom right because Sometimes when I, I literally feel overwhelmed at home, I would have just said, ah, please, mommy, come and stay with me, I beg. Come and take care of your children, I beg. Let me rest. I can just disappear with my husband. I feel that is one of the beautiful things of having mothers and mother-in-laws alive. Please, if you're that kind of a young girl that will always pray that you don't want to meet your husband's mother, I think you should start changing that prayer. One of the women I respect so much right and i listen to her always sometimes i said i said imagining what happened how did she attain this height in her career and one of the stories that she was one of the days i was listening to her stories she made mention that it was her mother-in-law that she, the only thing she did was just to give birth to the to a child she had three boys in fact the name of the woman is ibukon awashika i respect her so much and one of the times i was studying about her i listened to this her story now like this is it right she brought in her mother-in-law she lived with her till she died right and this is one of the benefits of having mothers and mother-in-laws alive the woman said she would give birth to her child she would always have nannies come and go or leave in for her mother-in-law was always in the house and she took care of her children like her own right and they they she literally would travel and not not be afraid that the home is not fine so i guess sometimes i don't know that is life right but this is one of the benefits of having mother-in-laws but now that my mother-in-law or my father-in-law is no more so i guess that's why we always take a little bit time to go home also sometimes i still don't remember the names of this road i've been married for like seven years by this year and i can bet you that i really don't know the names of this road right anyways that being said so listen to what i have to tell you about the month of april happy new month welcome to the month of april and i'm reporting live from the city of bc in Imo state nigeria so we are doing our easter a little bit here in the fyi this is my husband's place which is technically mine right 
So we came here, of course, to reconnect back home, to see our people, and of course, to just see how the village is going. And this is early morning. And I realize that this is first of April, and I am wishing you a beautiful month ahead. This month will favor you and your family, and this month will bring so much joy, peace, harmony, and fulfillment, most especially. You got all it takes to achieve in life. Here is me wishing you all this and more this month of April. Till I come your way again, stay safe. See some beautiful souls I met also in Villa. Hear them out. <laughs> One of the nice things I enjoyed about these few days I stayed around here is their food. Their food is amazing, right? I didn't really cook here, but we always went out to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, there was a lot of cleanup happening here, so I just had to capture it. And these kids, they literally made my day enjoyable and fun and memorable. I would always miss them. All of them very smart, talented, and just happy and jovial, right? So I'm just thinking of plans of what to do for them. Maybe seeing the long back or something. Any ideas, just let me know in the comment section. So this video is coming to an end. Please do well to hit the like button. What do you love about this video? Share with me in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be delighted to always see you. Don't forget I sell land in the city of Enugu. I most likely will move to Imo State very soon. That brings me to the end of this video. Let's like and love dwell with you always okay bye for now later